Hello everyone, my name is Guillaume, this is Thurman's Guitars and Basses, and today we're looking at five first pedals under a hundred bucks. <laughs> Hello guys, I hope you're doing fantastic today. As I mentioned previously, we're going to have a look at five first pedals under 100 euros on the Toman website. Now, this is not a full review of each of these pedals. We're going to have a look and listen mostly through some of the sounds, pair them with some other pedals, but ideally it's just to help you figure out what kind of fuzz might be the right one for you. So there are different types, different diodes, different controls and we'll dive into all of that but basically yeah you don't know fuzz you're looking for one here's basically what you can get for 100 euros before i get started everything that i will be using today will be linked in the description box down below if you want to have a look through the specs because i'm not going to read them and for the demo i'll be using my fender stratocaster into the board of doom uh, which is composed of our five fuzzes into my board if i want to add an overdrive or some reverb through the Rev D20 into the Palmer cab with Celestion Creamback 75 speakers. Now let's get started with our contender number one that is the General Germanium Fuzz by Outlaw Effects. <laughs> The General Germanium Fuzz by Outlaw Effect is the most affordable on our list today. It's a very stripped down, very straightforward uh, fuzz, which is based on a classic 60s Germanium fuzz figure circuit. See? See what I did there? So very limited controls. If you want to have um, hands-on control on the EQ, this is probably not the unit for you. But it does that very, very cool thing that is sort of inherent to these germanium circuits, is that if you bring your guitar volume down to seven or eight, it's going to clean up real nicely and give you like that glassy SRV or Jimi Hendrix clean tone, which is really, really cool. And this one does it quite well for something that is Again, so affordable. If you just want to press on a knob and it goes <laughs> There you go. Oh, and by the way, this was the fuzz on its own. If I'm going to put anything else but the fuzz, say um, an, an overdrive or like a second gain stage of any sort, I'll let you guys know before I do. But with that cleared out, let's go on to the second fuzz on our list today, which is the Rusty Fuzz by TC Electronic. And guess what? It's also a super simple fuzz from the 60s, but not the same. <laughs> This was a very poor attempt at playing Cliffs of Dover by Eric Johnson <laughs> with the rusty fuzz going into uh, my GHS double barrel with a tube screamer on, obviously delay reverb. But it's a great, great fuzz, which is also a rendition of a classic 60s circuit. Now it is very different from the general in the sense that it is not a germanium circuit, but a silicon base uh, fuzz. If you're really not familiar with fuzzes and their constructions, I'd advise you to go and check out that pedal show where they, they have a bunch of really cool videos which explain uh, the differences between germanium fuzzes, the silicon fuzzes, uh, in terms of, of construction, of circuit, but also sound, obviously. It doesn't present most of the problems that old fuzz circuits present, namely uh, a lot of treble, high end, something that can really be in your face when using single coil type of pickups. It's 
it's very tameable, even in the bridge position on a Strat, which is kind of a feat of its own. Well done, TC Electronic. Well done. And that leads us to fuzz number three on our board today, which is the Carcosa by DOD. Now this fuzz is very different for our previous two contenders. It offers a lot more option um, with obviously more onboard controls, but even just at the circuit level. Essentially, the idea behind this fuzz is to make it as versatile as humanly possible. So if you're the kind of guy to put your fuzz into a dirty amplifier, uh, this is right for you. If you're into putting a fuzz into another gain pedal, this is right for you as well. And if you're just going into a clean amp, that works too. How, you ask? Well, very simple. Basically, you have two gain controls, the before, which adjusts the amount of gain that goes into the tone stack, if you want, into the EQ options, and an after, which is basically a bias knob that is gonna go from something that's very smooth, mostly if you're using a clean amplifier then, to something that's very scratchy, as you heard in the beginning. That can either be used as an effect on its own, which is a very unique, but kind of bizarre guitar tone, uh, but it mostly is used if you're putting it into an another overdrive or a dirty amplifier such as this. And that was the Carcosa first going into the left side of the JHS double barrel. It was a really cool sound, I really like it. But if you were to use that setting on the fuzz on its own, it would give you something like this. So obviously you have a lot more treble there, a lot more high end. It is very scratchy if you're picking single notes. It's not really dynamic, it's just all aggression. But it pairs really well with a, a second, get, going into a second gain stage. Okay, and on to fuzz number four, which is no other than the Big Muff Ram's Head by Electro Harmonics. <laughs> Approximately 10 hours later. Yes! So while preparing this video, we realized that there were actually 14 different iterations of Electro Harmonics fuzzes under 100 bucks. They will be linked in the description box if you want to have a look. We had to pick one, but essentially, You've got a lot of options just with these guys. They're obviously responsible for the big muff fuzz, staple of fuzz, fuzz that everyone knows and loves, of course. And this is the Ram's Head version, which is the rendition of their famous 1973 big muff box, which was supposedly used by David Gilmore. So if you needed any other reason to buy this pedal, there you go, you have it. It sounds really good, it's very solid, sustained for days, forever, and it does everything that you'd expect from a fuzz and from an electro harmonics pedal. And that leaves us with pedal number five on our list today, which is the Pelt by Fender. <laughs> The 
Stout came out with Fender's first batch of electric guitar pedals back in 2018. We have a comprehensive demo, I think, on this channel that came out exactly at that time, if you want to look it up, otherwise it'll probably be linked somewhere. Uh, it is a silicon-based fuzz. On the controls you will have level, tone, bloom, fuzz, as well as two toggle switches, uh, which control the mid-range, as well as the thickness of the fuzz. That means you can easily pair that pedal with pretty much any scenario that you have in mind. And I think that for that reason, if you're not familiar with fuzz and not too sure in which context you are going to use it, either the Pelt or the Carcosa are probably better options for you because they can go pretty much anywhere. The other fuzzes on this board, Rusty Fuzz, Big Muff and General, are more of a one-trick pony. They're very simple to use, they're very straightforward and they sound good, um, but yeah, maybe just a little less versatile. If you want something that may be smoother or if you have money for only one pedal and you want it to do fuzz, but you also want to use it for softer gain stages, the Pelt will do that very well. Put it on the, on the soft setting with the fuzz at 12 o'clock. Maybe the mid-range will move as well slightly. And the tone will move slightly. So as you've just seen, that's a pedal you can easily use as an overdrive. It's very compact, it does a lot, so that's pretty cool. And now we're gonna wrap up this video with the same riff that I'm gonna play back to back on these pedals alone. Not stacked with anything else, just the pedal on its own so you guys can have like a better understanding of the differences in between them. Let's go! <laughs> Right, and that's it guys, this was a, an overview. If you're looking for a fuzz, if you are new to fuzzes and that beautiful world of grit and scratchiness, uh, this gives you a good idea of what affordable options you have at your disposal. Thank you very much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something. If so, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much in advance. Don't forget all the useful stuff that we're going to put in the description box down below. Stay safe, take care of yourselves, keep playing music, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Right after I put everything on 10 and put all the fuzz in together.